hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're gonna be doing this effect for frankenstein this is a different effect that we were we have done already on the channel and mostly because i wanted to create a kind of different type of a skin soon no, sewing together so that's why i use different foundation shades you can use different concealer shades and they will give you that contrast of skin in the different areas you can go for very intense kind of contrast or you can go for something lighter and this uh, sewing part is just created by cream colors and adding some redness and some darkness and just the stitches and it's done you can go for cream colors or you can go for aqua colors to do this sewing and it will dry out and it won't stain so let's get started right away with this effect well, as always, we're going to start by just sketching where the design is going to be, but actually the deviation of the, each shade is going. Then I'm going to be taking this palette, which has a different kind of foundation shade in Queen Compact. And then I'm going to be applying different shades, some of my skin shades, some darker. If you don't have this kind of palette, you can mix your own skin shade foundation, the ones that you wear in summer and the ones that you wear in winter, which has different shading and mix them up until you get different shades. Once we have applied all the shades, we're going to be moving to a cream color. So I'm going to start with a red one and start lining the division between all of the parts of the different color foundations. And 
then I'm gonna give different kind of dimension of colors. I'm gonna move to a more kind of burgundy purple shade and do the same. And one last time mixing red with black to create a deeper darker red and do, doing the same again. I'm gonna be creating kind of an irritation effect and using a dark and pink and blend it on both the sides of each liner. to a base uh, shade and I'm gonna be creating that kind of volume effect so I'm gonna be applying a little bit on the borders of each of the lines and um, just on top of the pink and we'll give that 3d effect Now again, let's start with the holes where the stitches go in. I'm gonna be mixing uh, the red and the dark, uh, or the black to create a dark um, red and start adding the dots one on each side that goes together. You can do them like a little more up and down, a little farther apart, just to create different type of sh shapes or the stitches. Now with the black one, we're gonna be connecting the dots to create the stitches. And as you can see, I give a little bit of a curve in each of the line to create a, a more realistic volume stitch. And you can do it once it go a curve for down, another one go up and, you know, mix it up. As a final touch, you can add some lenses, a costume, a wig, whatever you feel like, and we're done. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. As, uh, as me, you can do it in a very, very large scale uh, by doing all over the face and chest, but you can just do a little simple touch, maybe through the face, maybe through the chest with a couple of shades, maybe your um, winter um, foundation shade and your summer foundation shade will give a little bit of difference in shading and that's it. So I hope you enjoy. You'll find the list of products that I use as always on the bar below next to ton of all the makeup tutorials that you may find interesting for Halloween. If you like this video, Video, I will really appreciate that you give a thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my tutorials I'm losing my breath and of course as always thanks so much for spending some time with me be happy and see you next one